Okay, practicing. This is the most important part in building a TED like or any good talk. Sometimes people come to me and tell me, hey Roy, I want to speak like this Sir Ken Robinson. And he was born this way, the natural and bold speaker. Guys, this is something not many people know, but TED speaker spends around six months planning and preparing for the talk. The shortest amount of time people are preparing for the talk is around three months. They do like Skype calls and they, they send videos of themselves and they have this entire process and then they practice for weeks on and off stage in front of the camera and off camera. So they are, most of them are not natural born public speakers. They are just people like you with a story and they work with the most amazing TED mentors and coaches. So those people can do it. Of course you can. So let's learn how to practice. The best practice way is to just film yourself. Try and speak and talk and make mistakes. Put a camera or an iPhone or whatever and just take a video of it. And after you do it, send it to friend, show it to people, hashtag me on, on Twitter, on DRoy, and remember, it's only a trial. You're not on the stage yet. And I want you to take a bunch of friends to see your talk and give you notes. Take notes and give you some comments about it because this is what I do with my speakers. I send them two or three nights before their talk to sit in the living room with their family and give their talk because the people that love you the most will give you the most sincere comments okay so let's remember that practicing is the most important part of being a public speaker we're going to review a few methods of practicing the best one which will have another lesson for it especially for it is called a powerpoint karaoke but for now i want you to take those drafts you prepared before and we'll learn how to implement it into our ABC template and start practicing it.